Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another evolution review. Now, in today's video, we are gonna be looking at the Euro Attackers one and the Euro Attackers two, which is basically the same thing, but you get to upgrade two players. And this is insane. And in tomorrow's video, we'll be looking at Copa Attackers one, which is gonna be similar. It's gonna be really, really similar to Euro Attackers. Instead of European, I mean, instead of teams uh, players who are playing in Euro. They're just gonna use, be using the players who are gonna be playing in Copa Americas. That's the only difference. But it will be a two different separate video, so the guy, you guys get to know what player to use because you get only two of this for free. So make sure you guys do the right player. Now in today's video, we are gonna be looking at the Euro attackers, like I said, and we have four players that we got for free. Everybody has four players from Euro and four players from. Copa, I think, if I'm not wrong, or I don't know if it's four year and three there, or if it's four year and four there, something like that. But in this, make sure, no matter what, even before I show you guys the stats, please complete Michael Olise. Please complete this card. Look at the stat. I'll show you guys the stats here. Look at the stats. Just, just look at the stats. Okay, good. Right winger, 87 rated right winger base card. Once you complete this you have to do i think uh four no three you have to do three different levels so level one once you complete you'll get a 90 rated right winger from 87 it goes to 90 and look at the stats it is insane level one itself is looking so nice he gets 98 dribbling guys a drib uh, a right winger with 98 dribbling and 93 pace 90 rated card is insane on its own and uh, you have to play three squad battles and win two squad battles so just play three games and win two of those or just win three anything you get plus three plus plus oh my god you get plus three pace you get plus three shooting you get tiki taka play style you get plus four passing and plus seven dribbling so this is only you can use these two euro attackers one and two and then Copa attackers one and two you can use these only for the players that they have given ea have themselves given out of the way uh, so only those players you can use now level two you guys can see you get a 90 to 95 boost and 95 rated is gonna be the final rating it's not gonna go above this but in the final card which is level three once you complete you'll get the final version even in that upgrades are there now for level two you get plus four pace more increase in pace more increase in shooting plus five shooting plus five defending doesn't matter realistically speaking attackers don't need to worry about defending if they have stand tackle more than enough he gets plus one weak foot as well so if you look at this card he gets five star weak foot and then look at the stats he had 93 pace he's gone to 97 and he has 98 dribbling already he has 92 shooting and then like i said if he has decent stand tackle more than enough he has 73 good enough for a striker not gonna be sad about it and the card looks insane already and then he has a playstyle plus which was what power shot yeah power shot yeah he gets power shot plus if you complete level two as well so for this you should have to score three goals using the player which is this card in squad battles or rivals or champions and then win four squad battles simple simple objectives easy to finish easy to do i am definitely going to be finishing michael olise first uh, i have to finish another player that i'm doing right now once i finish that card which is the torch evolution which was going on once i finish that i'm going to be doing michael olise and then one more player we have i'm pretty sure 90 percent of the people will be going for michael olise as their first choice player for this evolution and look at the final card once you get the final evolution done you get a player which looks mental he gets boost in physical and in passing in the final one you go uh, and then you get five star skill mode so basically for a free 87 rate they only gave this card and they're giving this evolution you're getting a player from 87 to 95 you're boosting his pace and dribbling you're boosting his shooting basically you're boosting every stat and then you're boosting his skill moves from four star four star four star skill move four star weak foot to five star skill move five star weak foot and you're giving him two playstyle pluses and then a couple of uh, playstyles as well it is insane i think you get uh yeah what you get technical plus in this one you get 
प्लस प्रोवेन यू गेट टेक्निकल प्लस यू गेट ट्रिक्सटर यू गेट प्लस वन स्किल मो प्लस सेवन फिजिकल प्लस फोर पासिंग इन सेन इन सेन एवोल्यूशन मेक श्योर यू गेट कंप्लीट बोथ ऑफ दिस एंड देन आई मीन टू कंप्लीट दिस लेवल यू हैव टू प्ले फोर राइवल्स व्हिच इज आई थिंक द ओनली थिंग माइट बी डिफिकल्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू जस्ट हैव टू विन फाइव स्क्वाड बैटल्स स्कोर सिक्स गोल्स विद द प्लेयर very very simple playing for rivals also you just have to play you don't have to win you just have to play even if you lose doesn't matter play champions you will at least get one point of that you know champions point even if you lose doesn't matter you at least are coming to complete and get some random cards who knows if you have good luck you will pack somebody in sin so this is the first player i wanted to show you guys the second player is If you have a good Bundesliga squad, if you have a good German squad, go for Adiyami because he's gonna be getting 99 pace. Look at the final card; he's gonna be getting 99 pace. So that is one more big, big choice you have to make. But other than Olise, I don't, I'm not very attracted to anybody else. I would say Sterling is a good uh, option, but still, Sterling is yet another left winger. I mean, I mean, Sterling is a left winger, Olise is a right winger. so you can actually do that and uh, both are from premier league so you get you get a link up there itself i think that is also a way to go your second player being only say i mean your first player being only say second player being sterling that is also a decent way to go you can use sterling at left wing right wing striker or left mid you can use only say at right wing and right mid pretty decent cards uh, immobile zero immobile I don't know. I don't know if this is the card you. This is one of the cards you want to do. I mean, there are a lot of strikers out there. We also did the player review for uh, Sunil Chetri, the Indian team captain who is actually stepping down from foot- football because uh, he has got an end of an era card, 96 rated card. Review of him has been done. It was yesterday's video. Make sure you guys go check it out. You guys can do that. Uh, you guys can get that card as striker and then you guys can complete click uh, you guys can get two wingers even if you get adiemi done he can be played at left wing and right mid as well so you guys can go either for olise and adiemi or olise and sterling i'm suggesting go for olise no matter what even if even if you don't complete the second player it is okay michael olise insane stats insane card 97 pace 98 dribbling I don't think it gets better than that so make sure you guys complete this and in tomorrow's video we'll be looking at uh, the copa attackers 1 and 2 and I'll let you guys know which is the best players to be getting done in that we'll be doing another uh, evolution review which is going to be coming a bit further but it has already been released and I'll let you guys know how that is as well I'll see you guys in the next one and then take care Stay safe, stay motivated, and keep smiling, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.